simply lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should see the boat outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture well now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it well, any second now. It's our venue this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We like to see excitement and be entertained. But if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. And already we're underway here. Gee, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Gerard Piquet. He's just about the toughest opponent you can imagine when it comes to one-on-one -on -one tussles, Peter. Pretty much unbeatable in the air or on the ground. He's also very comfortable on the ball and quite adept at picking a pass, whether it be long or short. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Piquet. Jordi Alba. Piquet. We sit forward. Griezmann. Just the goalkeepers. It's one! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. I thought he'd sit well to explain the space that he's afforded to him. Is that more? Llorente. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Barcelona are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka. Uh, a lot of short, crisp passing. And once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. And it's Correa. Very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Now it's Griezmann. Messi. And a shot! Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Trippier. Good spot of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Jimenez. On the side, yet able to find a net. Carrasco drives it forward. Tried to play it through. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Jordi Alba drives it towards the front. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. That's good paid to a promising move. Llorente gets it back. And here's Griezmann. Griezmann really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. And he's going along. What's that the finish? Goal, Barcelona! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. It's really a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Trippier, he needs to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. He's looking to get there first. Saul. Pique really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Messi battles to win it back. Trippier tries to get it forward quickly. And they win it back again. And it's played forward. Going through. And it's Jordi Alba. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Long play. Griezmann. Out to the left it goes. Jordi Alba. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. And the referee brings the first half to the close. So there you have it, a close to half of football. It's not had its moments. He produced just one goal. What a decent game up today. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. And it's Saul. Okay. And here's Suarez. And he heaves it forward. And it's been taken straight back. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Piquet. Piquet plays it forward. It's a loose ball. A decisive action by the goalkeeper. He knew he had to get that done.
so now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Stefan Savic. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, they seem intent on marking men of the game. They're certainly trying to wind them up in the closest speed. Ter Stegen gets it upfield. Tries to switch the play. Long play. Now by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Jimenez. Saul. Cedric, what are you thinking? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. Saul sprints it towards the left. Well, that's good stuff. This is better. The hit move is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Oh, he's caught it there. It's a free kick. Oh, well, do you think that had to be done? Saul. Llorente. Saul. PK proves too strong there. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's got through. Well played, he saw that coming. Ferreira Carrasco. Barcelona really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Let's put a stop to that. He's been closing out to the flank. Just brushed off the ball there. Okay. Ferreira Carrasco. Okay. Llorente. And here's Trippier. Oh, he's not going to get that. It's a throw in. Time for a change in personnel. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose he did need a little change. <laughs> Messi. Barcelona are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Eric Carrasco. Oh, too much weight on that. Keep going and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Okay. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Now it's Griezmann. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Uh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. It's Carrasco. So... <laughs> and that's it. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. Reflections of what you've seen, Jim? It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. They look below par in all areas, and it has to be cause for genuine worry. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us, and to wish you a very good day.